My name is Sarah Kanner, and I'm a co-executive producer on the film and also a story consultant. Um, I'm a Columbia alum, um, graduated in 2002, I guess. Um, and I met BJ actually through Richard Pena. Oh, cool. Um, at his 60th anniversary party, because we both were TAs for him, and we both remained friends with him, um, and had obviously both gone to Columbia, but not at the same time. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, so, how did you first get involved in the film? Um, well, <laughs> I mean, basically, I it's sort of a long, complicated story, but after having met him, he was looking for a roommate um, in this amazing apartment in Brooklyn, and it wasn't really on my game plan, but I was like, well, that looks like a cool apartment, and he seems cool, maybe that's something I should look into, and um, that was a couple of summers ago, and now we, like, have a baby, and I'm a good executive producer. <laughs> a Columbia love story. Yes. <laughs> it's amazing. Basically, yeah. Um, so, and then, you, are you always, are you always producing with... Well, he's been making this film. Teams? He was already oh, making the film oh, wow. when I met him, okay, and right. then, you know, just being his partner and living together. And right, they've been right. editing at home now for a long time, so I'm like watching all the cuts and, you know. And so, did you go to Cuba with the team? I went with I went to Cuba one time, um, one of the last shoots that they had okay, cool. about a year and a half ago. And um, what skills did you learn at Columbia in the School of the Arts in Dodge that helped you with this particular project, if any? <laughs> oh my gosh, so many. Uh, <laughs> a nice broad question for you. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, or is there one thing about yeah your Columbia education that kind of lent itself particularly to... I think like, a, one really good thing about the Columbia education that it's, even when I was there, it took me a while to kind of get behind because I was coming from a mindset of having done a lot of like studio art and painting and thinking about like the auteur, the artist as like a very individual person and kind of creating something on your own and they were always encouraging us to like collaborate and you know write something that someone else directs and honestly I was a little resistant to that like looking back I wish I'd sort of taken on more of that because I was always like no I want to write it and direct it and produce it and do everything but I think like the collaborative spirit that they encourage is, is really helpful especially for film or anything you do. And especially for this film which is kind of like an ensemble film yeah. right? Um, were you ever nervous about kind of all the government regulations and especially being a producer you've got to kind of have an eye on all of that right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, the first time I went down there, I guess BJ had already gone and he had bought me a ticket, like, in Mexico, and, you know, it all seemed a little bit, like, dodgy, but I was like, well, he's done it a lot, so it should be okay, but, um, I think, um, you know, the team had kind of been working in Cuba for a while, and they had such good connections there, and they had Marcel, the Cuban producer, so it didn't feel like it was going to be like, like... you were going to get shut down at any yeah, minute and be yeah. sued also or something. It felt yeah. like people were excited about what he was doing. And, but, you know, there's right. still even issues now. There's somebody... Uh, one of the other producers was transferring some money to his company, which is called, like, Hermana Motor, and the bank actually put a hold on the money because they were like anything with the word Havana or Cuba in it we have to investigate because like we can't just send money in case it's going to Cuba or something so that was kind of like that's oh, wild yeah you never know like what's gonna pop up 